Hi, it's Kerry here. Today I have lots of interesting sea creatures for you. Can you tell me how many times you've seen Nemo swim past? I'll give you a clue at the end. The whale shark is the largest fish in the sea, about 40 feet or 12 meters long. The whale shark is a filter feeder. It feeds near the surface by filtering water through its massive jaws. Its favourite food is plankton. The whale shark's flattened head has a blunt snout above its mouth with short barbels protruding from the nostrils. Its back and sides are grey to brown in colour with white spots among pale vertical and horizontal stripes. Its underneath is white. Its two dorsal fins are set towards the back of its body which ends in a large dual lobed caudal fin or tail. Whale sharks live in tropical seas. They migrate every spring to the continental shelf of the central west coast of Australia where there is a lot of plankton. Give a thumbs up if you like sea creatures. Here's Dory. I'm looking forward to the new Finding Dory movie. This fish is sometimes called a regal tank or a surgeon fish. The fins are relatively small. It has venomous spines covering the back and the tail. When caught by a predator, the fish releases these spines in defense to escape. It is also able to make itself semi-transparent when threatened. It blends in with its surroundings then. The tang is omnivorous, meaning it eats both plants and animals. Blue tangs are found on reefs, swimming in large schools, grazing on algae. Dory is also known as Little Blue. She is forgetful, talkative, caring, and a sweet, friendly, big-hearted fish. She's a fast swimmer, can speak well, and can read human language and writing. She wants to find her mother and father and says, my family, they're out there somewhere. I have to find them. The blue crab. Crabs are also known as decapods because they have 10 legs. The first pair of legs is modified into claws called chile. Crabs walk and swim sideways. The claws are blue but its shell or carapace is a mottled brown colour. Crabs have eyes on stalks just like snails. They are also excellent swimmers with specially adapted hind legs shaped like paddles. To escape predators they bury into the sand. They feed on almost anything they can get hold of including mussels, snails, fish, plants, carrion and even smaller blue crabs. Ammonites first appeared about 240 million years ago. They went extinct with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. This cephalopod was a predatory squid-like creature that lived inside a coil-shaped shell. It had sharp beak-like jaws inside a ring of tentacles that came out from their shells to trap prey such as small fish and crustaceans. The largest ammonites grew to more than 3 feet or 1 meter across. Possible snack food for the giant Mosasaur Tylosaurus. 
they scooted through the warm shallow seas by squirting jets of water from their bodies. Ammonites constantly built new shells as they grew, but only lived in the outer chamber. The blue spotted stingray has beautiful iridescent blue spots on the top part of its body. The spots are warning signs to other sea creatures, warning that it is poisonous. Its yellowish green colour helps camouflage it from above and its pale underside helps camouflage it from below. It can grow to 28 inches long including the blue striped tail which has one or two venomous spines. Its yellow eyes have an excellent field of vision. The holes above the eyes are spiracles for breathing. The snout is rounded and the mouth and gills are on the underside of the body. The mouth has two plates that can crush crab shells, prawns and mollusks. The octopus has a massive rounded head, large eyes and eight distinctive arms. It is able to camouflage itself with its surroundings. Predators such as sharks, eels and dolphins may not even notice it. When discovered, an octopus will release a cloud of black ink to make its escape. They move forward by expelling water through their mantles. They're able to squeeze into small cracks and crevices to escape predators. They also have big like jaws that can deliver a nasty bite and some have venomous saliva. They eat crabs, crayfish and mollusks. giant squid it's a bit of a mystery the largest one found measured 59 feet or 18 meters in length and weighed nearly a ton they live in very deep and cold water which is not easily accessible to scientists and divers like other squid it is able to release ink which hides it so it can make its escape giant squid and the colossal squid have large eyes measuring 10 inches or 25 centimeters across. These large eyes help them see in the gloomy depths that they inhabit. They have eight arms and two long feeding tentacles that help them bring food to their beak-like mouths. The tentacles have four rows of suction caps with hooks to help catch prey. The blue shark is found worldwide. It is one of the fastest fish in the sea with a sleek tapered body that is made for fast swimming and quick turns. The tail fin moves from side to side, propelling the shark along. It will pursue its prey for long distances and can even leap out of the water. The blue shark has pointy serrated teeth so that it can grip slippery fish. It feeds on squid, fish, mollusks, small sharks and even seabirds. The blue shark's predators include Californian sea lions, short fin makos, white sharks and sometimes even killer whales. Now don't forget to count how many times you see Nemo, I'll give you a clue. It's an odd number between 1 and 10. Please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. The cow nose ray, they are related to sharks and skates. They get their name from their forehead, which looks like a cow's nose. They are brown to olive colored on top and pale underneath. They grow to between two and three feet, which is 60 to 90 centimeters. They have an excellent sense of smell and touch, as well as electroreceptors on their snouts to locate their prey. To find prey, they stir up the bottom with their wingtips or noses. They can also suck water and sand into their mouths and blow it out through their gills or flap their wings rapidly to uncover prey in the sand. They have very strong teeth arranged in flat plates that can crunch hard-shelled prey. They have been seen jumping clear out of the water and landing on their bellies, making loud smacking sounds. Thank you for watching my video. 
please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon.